Hey guys, girls, dudes, and that's some fellow Knights of Hyrule. My name is Zeke Wolf, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we got to sealed grounds in this room and talk to the pointy woman that is right over here. Hi, pointy woman. Who directed us to get what was in this chest, which was a bottle, and now has directed us to go outside. So without any further ado, let's continue on this adventure. This game is still so pretty, though. Know? And there's the beacon that we placed. Because she gave... well, no. She's the one that gave us powers for beacon, right? Yes, 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 yes. Hi, bird. At least we got a few. Should we help him? Should we cut grass? Oh. Out of the way! Scram! Now I'll help him. Hey! 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 Fine, I'll go horizontal if you keep, if you can like change my vertical, th 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 you read my verticals. They read well. It's like smash. Phew, thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. Hey, hey bud, I am Gorko the Goron. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient text, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from this Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? Yeah, let's know more for the people. Ah, sounds like I have a fellow Kronzoar. Kronzoar? Kron, I... That's a different language. Of ancient cultures here. Alright, bud, you had better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this. People actually live on the Sky Island and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess, and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. This Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy with plant fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather. Oh, the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong. It is beyond amazing. <laughs> You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Good to hear, bud. I am completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now, but I will need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I will give you latest info. It got all pretty. Whoa! 
what in the world just happened? Did you see some kind of magic? I mean, use some kind of magic? I can read. The statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Extremely. Hey. I have to examine the statue further, bud. Who knows what I might find out. Well, I activated it somehow, so now maybe it'll be easier for you. Let's cut this up a bit and see if I can find any more rupees. Would be great if I could. I can stab those, right? No, I, those are rocks. You do not stab rocks. You throw rocks. That aimed right. I have to re-remind re myself how to break rocks in this game. If this don't work, I'm walking away. I'm walking away. Oh, more grass. Here. Ooh, cool. Ten rupees, too, right off the bat. Even better. Another green. Another green. And, 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 and nothing. What's up here? It's a cave. Where does it go? What does it do? Oh, it's a shortcut. Cool. I can use that later. I will happily use that later. Unless I don't actually need to use it later, and in which case I guess I won't happily use it later. It's so pretty. Get over there. Make sure there's nothing in this little area. Okay. Let's go. And let's get rid of... That button. Not that button. That button. Not that button. <gasps> Never mind. That button. <laughs> Oh, I need to reposition this, too. Alright. So, now that I suck at finding that button... <laughs> ...and press literally every other button right before it... ...maybe now we can actually make some progress. Master, you have entered Ferran Woods. Yes, I have. Thank you for letting me know. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It is logical that lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. Ta! It's so green! Yeah. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. This button. That says I need to apparently go that way. I want to do it for fun. Alright, let's see if I can finish filling up my rupees. Soon. Really soon. I only need a few more. Come on, something give me rupees. Please, rupees? I don't need glory trees, give me rupees. Because that's still so much fun to do. Yeah, yeah, glory trees. Like, that glory tree right over there will give me rupees. 99 is max for me currently, right? 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 Not crazy, right? Oh, I am crazy. I apparently don't know the rupee numbers in this game. I'll be honest with you and say that Skyward Sword is not my most played Zola game. However, I still like the game, it's just I like others more. <laughs> I'm one of those kids where, like, Ocarina of Time was my childhood. And when we get to that one, I'll tell you a bit more about that. That way, I have so many stories to tell. As for Skyward Sword, this was actually the first game I ever pre-ordered from GameStop. I was... a senior in high school at the time. And was actually part of Knights of Hyrule at that time, too. 
but life stuff got in the way and I wound up disappearing. This many years later, I'm now back and doing videos, which I really enjoy doing. Also, we have to save the Kikui. Alright, fine. You wanna go vertical? Oh, you wanna go horizontal? That's cool. Fine. Stop switching! I'm trying to cut you. Kikui! Kikwis are so cool. Huh? It's gone quiet. Kikwi! Now there's a green one. I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me, Kikwi. I'm not gonna hurt you, but I do have to follow you. Master, I picked up a highly interesting spike in dowsing readings from the creature you just encountered. Is it Zelda? <laughs> the probability of this life form being Zelda is 5%, so I must conclude that this is in fact not Zelda, but a peaceful forest creature known as a Kikwi. Kikwis are highly intelligent beings capable of speech. Yes, upon further observation, clearly not Zelda. <laughs> It is unclear why such a creature would elicit a dowsing response attuned to Zelda. You should follow the creature and investigate this phenomenon. Did you give me Kikwi reading stuffs yet? No, not yet. Okay. Cut the grass around here. I'm probably going to wind up like speeding up all these grass cutting parts because nobody wants to see that. Let, let, let's just be honest with ourselves right now. Nobody wants to see me cut grass for a while. It would be much better just speed it up and then I can sound like a chipmunk for a little bit. Because I'm a great sounding chipmunk. I found you. But you freaking out again. That's okay, though. We won't find you. Hey, buddy. What do you want? Master Link, should you have questions about anything, I encourage you to call me. Okay. Once I'm summoned, select advice or hints, and I will probably. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna kill this thing real quick. Poor thing didn't even get a chance to face me again. <laughs> I scared it. Ran away, ran away, ran away, because I'm going to find you again. I did find you again. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. No, don't put it down. Toss it. Hi. No, trying to poke, poke. Because there's two, and one's one way, and one's the other way. There you go. don't want to eat me? Queen? And come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? Keep leap. I'm Machi. I'm a Kikwi. You seem okay even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird, Kiku. 
A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. Zelda? What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, Kukui, but she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her, Kui, but she escaped with the Kikui Elder. <laughs> well, why you do that, Fee? Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates that she was assailed by monsters but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I have marked a position of Kikui known as Machi. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikui most likely produces a false positive dowsing reaction due to previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue dowsing to search for Zelda. You really spooked me, Kui. You keep some very strange company, friend. Eep leep. It sounds like you're set on finding this friend and the elder. If you're heading that way anyway, Kui, would you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? Cheer up, Kuweep. I bet your friend is safe with our elder. I hope so, Machi. I hope so. Alright. So, let's see. Let's follow the thing, which apparently I'm actually going the right way. Mostly. The right, right way appears to be up here. Don't think I can get. Nope. Didn't think so. Alright. Look around a little bit. Look around. We need to blow that up, but we can get up here. So let's see. Got a little platform for getting up. Is this where? It, no, that wasn't. Any. No, yes, no, yes, yes. Oh, hey, there's the elder. Hi, elder. Hi, guy. You gonna be die, guy? Oh, you dead. Got some rupees. Got five. Right. Got another five. And you probably like the one. Yeah, that's one. Right. So, Elder is very definitely right over there. Ah, but we have to get to him the other way. That's right. There's also a piece of heart somewhere nearish here. Hey, come here. Come, come. Ow. I need this. I need this. Where'd you go? You coming back? You don't want to come back. Yeah, I didn't think you want to come back. You hit me once, you're probably going to die next time. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. Alright, buddy. Your turn. Nope. The other way. The other way. The other way. Oh. You, you want to play? You want to play? Okay. Ow. I messed up. There you go. Ready. Alright, you. No, miracle. There we go. Push this down. Oh, hey. Amber relic. Which goes to our collection. We'll go into what we can do, what we can use those for 
in later detail, le in better detail later. Holy crap, can I speak? Ha, got you. I didn't mess up that time. Oh, there's another one of you over there. Alright. Looks like I can get to you from right down here. I'm almost at you, Elder. Let's have a conversation with your big butt. Don't f okay. Don't don't murder me, please. Don't fall on me. Grihi, I am Bucha, the Kikui Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage, Kui. You are clearly a master woodsman. Where's Zelda? Zelda? Ah, the girl creature of the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yes, she was moof with me, Kui. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I am worried about my missing tribe. Kui, the shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. What? You say you've met some of my people, Kui? Kui, so much is safe, eh? Ah, the monsters. They are still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they are safe, Kui? I am worried sick for my fellow Kikwis. If you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to, Kui. Learning that Zelda is no longer with the Kikwi Elder is an unfortunate setback, but he may still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikwis for the Elder. To expedite your search for these forest-dwelling creatures, I have added Kikwis as a dowsing option. There's the Kikwi dowsing option that I needed earlier. You need- no, 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 I don't. Because you hold the C button. Additionally, I will mark any Kikwis you discover in your map and disable dowsing readings for them. That way, you will not revisit the same Kikwis. This concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing Kikwis. Kikwis. Oh, I need to center that. You don't count. But we're going in here. I can stab these, right? And then, like, throw them. Yep. Sideways. Like that. Any more rupees? Yep. And now we go up. So, yeah. We have to find Kikwis. But, you know... It's actually getting close to that time. And this is probably the best place for us to stop and look for Kikwis in the next episode. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Later. <laughs>